In this video, I'm gonna show you the best 4K export settings in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So once I have Premiere opened up, I'll first drag my clip down here into my timeline. And this is 4K footage. So once I drop it down into a sequence, it's gonna go ahead and create a 4K sequence for me. I'll then press I on my keyboard at the beginning of my clip, and then I'm gonna scroll down here to the end, and I'm gonna select O on the keyboard. That stands for in and out. So when I go to export, it's only going to export what's inside of this area here. From there, I'm gonna go up to file, and then go down to export, and then media. So we're just gonna go ahead and say that my video is fully edited and I'm done, I'm completed with my project, and now I'm ready to export. So first, I'm gonna select H.264 for the format, and then I'm gonna change the preset up here to custom. I'll then go down to output name and this is just gonna be wherever you wanna save your clip to. I'm gonna name this test one and then I'm gonna press save. Then I just wanna make sure that I have export video and export audio selected because if you don't, one or the other may not export with your video. And then I just wanna review the summary section and this is just a basic breakdown of what your actual video is. I'll then go ahead and scroll down here to basic video settings. And then I want to make sure the width is set to 3840 and then the height is going to be set to 2160. Scroll on down. Frame rate is whatever frame rate you want to export it as. So if you're not exporting at 23.976 like I am, you can uncheck this and then change it to whatever frame rate that your video needs to be. I'll then go down and field order is going to remain progressive. Aspect is going to remain square pixels 1.0. And then I'm just going to select or check render at maximum depth then go down here to the encoding settings i want to make sure that performance is set to software encoding profile is always going to be set to high and then the level is going to be set to 5.2 from there i'm going to set my bitrate encoding to cbr and then i'm going to change my target bitrate to 100. this is only if you're trying to export your videos to a website like youtube or vimeo or some kind of website where your video is gonna be compressed because the bitrate encoding and target bitrate is going to make your video higher file size, also make your video a higher quality because YouTube actually compresses your video down and will downgrade the quality of your video. So we have to make this a lot higher to compensate for that. You can drop it down to 80 or 60 to bring down the file size and that's just something that you can play around with. And then all I'm gonna do is scroll down here to use maximum render quality and then check this box. Then I'll just chop over to audio and your audio settings, audio format's gonna be AAC, audio codec, same AAC, sample rate is gonna be uh, 48,000. Channels is gonna be set to stereo, audio quality is always gonna be set to high, and then bit rate settings is gonna be 320. So let's say you're not trying to upload this to YouTube, but maybe you're trying to give it to a client for a wedding. They don't necessarily want the extremely large file size because as you can see, this video is only 12 second long, but it is 144 megabytes. We may not necessarily want to give it to the client because they're not going to want something that's that big of a file size. So what we can do to fix that is what we're going to do is adjust this, change this to VBR to pass. And what this will do, it's going to give it a great quality because it's not going to be uploaded to YouTube. Therefore, it's not going to be compressed. So we can actually change our target bit rate and our maximum bit rate settings so that it is a lower file size and it's still gonna look nice. From there, I'm just gonna change my target bit rate settings to 40, and then I'm gonna change my maximum bit rate settings to 60. And again, audio settings are gonna remain the same, and then I'm gonna just make sure that use maximum render quality is checked. And then all I'm gonna do is go down here and press export. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.